Hello. <laughs> so we are live on the air, and Chad Pullins Hi. is here with me, and we are going to be reviewing Smutty Nose Pumpkin Ale. Pumpkin Ale, yeah. They always have cool labels. It is cool. This is one of the first beers I ever reviewed when I started doing uh, Chad's Beer Reviews on YouTube back in 2008. Yeah? I'm sure I probably had it once or twice since then. I can't really remember it, so I was going to re-review this anyways. So is this your first time having this beer? I think so. I think it is. Yep. Smarty goes out of uh, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so do you want to talk about what it looks like? Yep. Um, it's just a hazy. It's like the same color orange, depending on the light, like a as a like a pumpkin skin, you know. It is. It's really orange, but it's pretty clear. It's just got a little bit of haze. Really, mine's really hazy. Is it? Might okay. be for the condensation or whatever, but. I had like a nice kind of like, I did have like a nice kind of like marshmallowy type head on it. Yeah, it did. It had a lot of foam. It had a really good head. It has like kind of a pumpkin pie smell to it. It does, but it's not overspiced. A lot of pumpkin beers can just be nutmeg bombs. Yeah. And this seems more like baked pumpkin and less of the spicy taste. Yeah, I always say there's two types of pumpkin beers. There's pumpkin potpourri and then there's pumpkin pie beers. And this is seems to be more on the pumpkin pie side. Yeah. Like Southern Tier Pumpkin is the epitome of the pumpkin pie beer. <laughs> Love that beer. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um... I actually have their website right here, so I want to read a couple. For malts, it's North American Two Row, Karastin, and C60. For hops, they use Cascade. For bittering and for flavoring, Cascade and Liberty. And it says, natural pumpkin puree, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. And it's 5.84% ABV and 35 IBUs. Good deal. All right, so you want to... Dive into this? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> That's really nice. It's a lot hoppier than I expected it to be, which is nice balance. A lot of times these can get too sweet and gummy. I don't know about hobby, but you definitely get the, you know, pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove they were talking about. Um, I, I noticed, like, nutmeg and clove, a lot of these pumpkin ones, they almost have, like, kind of like a mint taste to it. Like, have you ever had dogfish head pun pumpkin or whatever it's called? Yeah. It's so damn spicy. It almost has, like, this minty taste to it. And, like, sure. Weyerbacher Imperial Pumpkin, um, this one's not nearly at those levels, but... It's like kind of sweet up front and then spicy in the back. Yeah. Well, I'm just surprised how much bitterness lingers on my tongue at the end of this one. But I, I really like that about it. It makes sense that this comes in six packs. It's not just in bombers or whatever. Yeah. Because you can definitely drink several of them. Yep. 5.84 is a little bit big for a regular pumpkin beer. I mean, you know, it's... A little too small to be a special occasion like Southern Tier, and then it's a little too big to be like, you know, like Saranac and a lot of other, you know, middle of the road type of breweries do like 4.5, 5.1% pumpkin beer. So this is like a little big. That's a uh, good point. Yeah, pumpkin is definitely one of those special occasion beers I only want to break out if I've got friends and there's a reason. Well, maybe for you, because I can just. It's a stone's throw away to the beer store, and they have, you know, uh, pallets of them. <laughs> right. This well, eight dollars a bottle, though. Yeah, I mean, it's a little more on the expensive side, and I just can't open a bomber by myself. I feel so wasteful. Oh, uh, I could. 
Because I just can't drink that much. I like to drink a lot. Look at the lacing on the glass. I don't know what yours is doing, but... Not quite as much, but... It's is got that the dogfish of... head goblet? Oh, yep. It is. I love this glass. I, I, It's my favorite for tasting. Well, this is mine, the tulip glass. Cause, mm -hmm. like... But That's anyways, it. I forget we're live here. We can't edit. And Well, I mean, you could download this and edit it and then re-upload it, but... Um, Anyways, um, yeah, I, I gotta say I'm I'm liking this one. I mean, it's not like blowing my mind or anything, but it's a nice solid. It's better than your average pumpkin beer. I'll, t I'll say that. Yeah, if I I would pick it, you know, if I didn't have a whole lot of options, it's a good go-to. It's a safe choice. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be likable, but it's not gonna be your favorite that you're recommending to everybody. Yeah. It's a nice, like, this is something you can get in a six-pack, and it would be a, a safe bet. Yeah, definitely. So this would go good with a kind of a fall meal, like with Thanksgiving dinner. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I think I could even get my family to try this beer. That's <laughs> a lot. <laughs> They're not the biggest beer fans. This, uh, this has good drinkability on it. It's a... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't call it like a creamy texture, but it's definitely more like soft than than fizzy or harsh or whatever. Goes down pretty smooth. I find it has a pretty clean aftertaste for the most part. Like there's, and it's uh from the alcohol content, and I guess from some of the sugar too. It's a little bit viscous, so you have that full round mouth feel. <laughs> I talk about mouthfeel a lot, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's not dessert, but it's not necessarily something that you would want to drink with a meal. It would be good for like having a bonfire, and you want to just have a few. Yeah, it's versatile. Yeah, agreed. I think back in like two thousand eight, I gave this like a B plus or A minus. Um. I'd probably give it closer to, I don't know, I'm kind of on the border between like a 7 and an 8 right now, like a B or B plus. Yeah. What do you think? I've got to change my rating scale. I've been going out of 5 for a while, and I think that's just terrible. <laughs> but I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. I feel like it's solid, good, but it's not going to be a favorite or a go-to. I'm probably not going to buy another one this season unless I don't have a choice. <laughs> Honestly. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's good. It's, I, I guess I would say, like, it's really well-balanced because, like, it's certainly sweet, so you get some of the kind of pumpkin pie flavors, but there's noticeable spice. Cause sometimes I really like those spicy ones. Like, ser like regular Saranac pumpkin ale is, like, very spicy very earthy, rustic, not very sweet, um, which makes it a little bit more interesting to drink. So this is like, you know, I mean, this is still a solid beer. Yeah, definitely. Glad I've got three more in the fridge. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I think um, I'll give this one an eight, like a B plus. Yeah. I would be right on the same scale. I mean, 3.5 out of 5 is my spot. But, yeah, this is good. I'm glad we tried it. Yeah. This used to be made uh, contract brewed by Saranac and Utica, which is only uh, 90 minutes west of me. But mm -hmm. uh, both of our bottles say made in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, so I guess it's the real deal on this one. Yeah, apparently. Hey, we have four viewers. All right. Five viewers. Hey, y'all. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I want to do live stuff more often. This is cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, now we have four. The, and three. Those two people were like, hi, bye, see ya. They're like, what's the point of uh, video chatting clo with your clothes on or whatever? <laughs> I know. Sorry. Didn't mean to send the wrong signal. But, uh, well, I guess we're about done here, so. Yeah, all right. Go, so you got to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, okay, so 
Cheers, y'all. Hope you can find it. Cheers. Bye.